Okay. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I I'm actually very sorry for not posting videos lately. I have been very busy figuring out um, promotional stuff for my business so it takes so much time and energy I have not been able to film anything but today's uh, video is about the Amazon Flex it's a delivery program for Amazon where the independent contractors are delivering delivering I'm sorry packages for Amazon um, if you have a car and you're over 18 years old you can apply on amazon website i will leave a link below and they do hire and opening a lot of new warehouses around the country so basically you will just need your driver license and social security number for background in investigation and you can be accepted or denied after a couple days just follow instructions on the website um, and you will see it's pretty clear how to apply how to download the app and it does give you some instructions in the videos you have to watch them before you actually start working so it has been a couple years I've been doing Amazon Flex time to time it's not my full-time job but I have heard a lot of negative comments about Amazon Flex and all the positive things. They actually pay not bad. It's uh, from 18 to 24, $25 uh, an hour. Uh, the least, I guess, shifts you can get, it's three hour shift, three hour block. This is what they call. So it's 40, $54. Um, I'm working today and I picked up three hour block for $67.50. The only reason I stopped picking up 54 hour blocks because lately my um, my hub they start giving out a lot of packages so it's around 38 to 45 for three hours and the driving time to the first package usually it was like 15 to 20 minutes now it's all 30 40 minutes so um, it's actually not very cheap gas wise because you have to spend around ten dollars for gas to get to the your area and get back so i don't really see a reason to work if it's not over $60 like $20 an hour after gas expenses maybe some coffee you are actually not making much anymore so yeah I stopped doing it and actually I noticed a lot of people who work in my area they are waiting for price increases and it is pretty efficient it works you might not get exact time you want like today I did want to start at 11 30 but I couldn't pick up a good shift until like 12 30 but it's okay you know 12 30 for 7 67 50 and 11 30 for 54 dollars this is a difference of 13 dollars and 50 cents it's exactly what I'm aiming for to spend for gas and coffee so this is tip number one just wait until prices increase and they do increase you know some people say oh well what if i'm not gonna wait i'm just gonna pick up for 54 i mean yeah you can do it if you necessarily need the money but you can wait and make more money you know and since i I have been doing it rarely and mostly for fun I would say and for extra beer money I, I will wait until the prices will increase so tip number two um, Amazon does not count in your three hour block the time to come back to your home or your hub so if you have some packages left you couldn't deliver them you will actually work over time and this sucks because most of the people you know they work two and a half hours and then you find yourself in the middle of nowhere with one or two packages left and you have another 30 minutes to drive to hub and another 20 minutes to drive home so it's not three hour block now it's 320 so when you go to the hub 
the best thing is try to get card and packages as close as you can to the place you live why because although you know you will have to still drive to the hub if you have more packages left after your delivery that you couldn't deliver on time or something like that was not able to access location you will still save like 10 to 20 minutes and you will not work overtime i know it's not possible all the time like with me today i'm driving like 40 minutes away from my home so i i'm already spending spending 40 uh, minutes to drive and then i need 40 minutes to come back so i will aim to deliver all the packages for sure because i don't want to spend extra time you know it's all my money so if you finish your block in two hours you get paid uh, 67 50 for two hour block so you know it's in your interest to work faster but it's in your interest also try to get better car to where you live i mean it's self-explanatory but some people don't realize that you know you can try to exchange with someone who just picked up another car they did it a few times i just come and i'm like hey do you live close to this location that i have because i don't do you want to exchange and you would not believe how many people actually would exchange they would swap with you cards no problem because they don't want to drive there either like it's far for them but it's close for you um don't get mad don't get frustrated but it's always a good idea to ask attendants can i pick up in in another card you know can you give me another card yeah it does not work all the time i mean some people just get offended they get very you know fussy like you have to take wherever you need to take this is what you were given but there are some attendants that would be like yeah sure go ahead you know i have 50 other cards and if someone likes it better why not they don't care they just need all of those packages go away from the warehouse by 7 p.m every day so i just try to do it and i think it's a great tip i wish i knew it early you know and tip number three if you cannot deliver the package and you absolutely don't want to come back to the hub the same day and stuff try to text your customer i hate calling customers because they think it's scam no one picks up and you stand in there way wasting time trying to leave a voicemail and it doesn't work lately what i have been doing i just text customer uh, through the amazon system you just go in the package help and you text and it works charms you know it, they get message instantly they open up and they're like whoa i have a package i've been waiting for it let me just go back open the door for this delivery person and to take my package um it saves you time and again you don't have to drive back i mean i don't care if i need to bring back the package but if i have only one single package and i have to go there and go from hub to home another 20 minutes it's again 20 minutes of my time i'd rather spend two minutes texting this person than wasting another 20 minutes so those three tips are super great another one that the, the reason why i'm doing this i love to walk i mean right now it's springtime it's summer to come you know rather than sitting at home or going to the gym and lifting weights i will rather walk around the you know town and have fun people trust me you get so many steps taken and you get paid for it like literally you get paid for delivering packages which most of them are not that hard to do so if you did not sign up yet again i left a link below feel free to sign up and see for yourself if you like it so i hope it was helpful for you just like this video and share with your friends and family if you have any questions please just leave your comments below and i will be happy to answer them hi there so it's 2 31 right now and i had a shift at 12 30 
so I spent just right now two hours and one minute and I got $67.50 today so I think it's not a bad deal I just wanted to give you a quick update and just give you a feel what it look like so right now I'm gonna spend around 40 minutes to get home and still even with my way to get to work to hop and from here to my house is going to be still under three hours so i think it's a very good deal and if you guys still have any questions please just leave it below and i just want to say it's a good day and it's good weather so why not to go out and make some money stay tuned for another video